Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart genuinely dropped the ball. I'm not sure what happened here, but Insomniac... <gasps> um, no. No, 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 no. You messed up the formula, you took some corporate advice, and unfortunately the reality is this. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is not worth $70. Uh, the, the price on the tag you actually pay is more like 75 so let's from now on say $75 for these solely on the next generation console exclusives, oh my god! Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's a pretty game. Lovely, beautiful, maybe. Some spots, it's incredible. Breathtaking, even. Now there's that word, breathtaking. Hmm. You know what this game reminds me of without a patch? Cyberpunk 2077. And I know a lot of people probably didn't even bother playing it without a patch, but at the end of the day, when you buy something on disc and you can put the disc in and see what the reality is, what they got done, and what they got out of the gate being done with, what they have to show for is, well, a broken game. When you start looking at anything, when you start looking around, and they don't want you to do that in these games, they don't want you to look around. They, they just want you to pass by their little painting and just forget about, oh, there's cars floating in midair. Uh, <laughs> so sad. Oh, my God. The train disappears on the tracks. Uh, you can just fall through the earth in any way. You just... It's really hard to wake up these Snoy fanboys, but I'm going to do my best to be gentle about it. The reality is it was not finished coming out of the gate. Like every game these days, it's just not finished. And truly, uh, it's nothing to defend. You Snoy fanboys, I don't know what's going on in your little heads, but at the end of the day, it's not done. It's not a finished game. Let's talk turkey. Let's get down to the brass tacks. The truth is, Ratchet and Clank without a patch is hilariously broken. And I can't imagine going through the whole game without a patch. Ooh. I'll tell you this, even if it was totally fine and totally fixed and, you know, the aesthetics didn't pop and, you know, stand out like a sore thumb, cars floating in the midair with their fucking jets going despite, oh my god, it's so sad. You know, I'm talking about the background, but it's the beauty of the game. You're supposed to look around. It's supposed to be beautiful to look at, and it is in some spots, but truly, it is not complete. It is not a complete package. And even if it were finished, even if it were a complete experience that makes sense, it is the most repetitive piece of garbage I have played in a very long time. And this is coming from someone who loves Max Payne. I love running and gunning in Max Payne, and that's all you do through the whole game is run and gun. But they got it. They know how to keep it flowing. Ratchet and Clank doesn't flow. It's got a terrible narrative. It's got a terrible character that takes up 90% of the screen time. And I'm sorry to all the furries, but at the end of the day, you should have higher standards. I tell you this. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart fans. Ooh, ooh. There are no Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart fans. It's unfortunate Sony fanboys who purchased a PlayStation 5 a little too early out of the gate, and they need to make it worth something. They need to make it, you know, they need to be compensated for their money because, well, there's no software to play, so they might as well buy the only thing there is to play, really. And if you're going to bring up anything else, like, uh, God's Fall, oh, it's being ported to the PS4. Uh, PS5 game going to the PS4? What are you guys doing? Why aren't you guys pissed? Why aren't you guys mad? Oh, it's because you don't care. And your brand loyalists. Oh my god, seeking that corporate construction. <gasps> Ooh! Look at me, I'm corporately indoctrinated. And I don't think about how I spend my money. I don't think about how I spend my money. Well, I do. 
And at the end of the day, the brass tax gives Ratchet and Clank a D minus. Now I know this is not a channel where we do grades, but if I had to give it anything and put it into words, because I'm not gonna review this entire piece of garbage, I can't. I got far enough to know that there is no reason to continue. The story is meaningless. It just doesn't... Uh, people said there was a great arc. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't like Rivet. It's called Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, and you play as Rivet for <clears throat> quite a significant amount of time, and the story just... There, there was nothing there for me. And you know what? They put in a skip puzzle button because people don't even want to play this game. Skip puzzle, skip cinematic. Oh yeah, by the way, you have to have the patch installed to skip cinematics if you didn't know. But nobody knows. Nobody knows because you don't play the game without the patch and see the reality and what's on the disc. Because you people think, you people think that it is... You think it's okay. You think it's justified. Oh, everyone's got internet. It's practically free at this point. Just like water. Well, I tell you this. Some people don't have time. Some people don't have money. Some people live out in the fucking boonies. And at the end of the day, I don't care what these Snore fanboys have to say about it because there is no defending a repetitive piece of garbage like this with like five enemy types and something that just, oh, it's all about the guns, Dylan. It's all about the weapons and the firearms and pew, pew, pew. Oh my God. How many times are we gonna have to do this? How many times am I gonna have to dance a little tango? Because at the end of the day, there's no one to tango with. There's no one to tango with because nobody defends this slop. I don't care, no one cares. I mean, now we gotta talk about it. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, $75? Are you out of your minds? Are you absolutely total lunatics at this point, gamers? Because I am, frankly, on the level. And if you cannot pick up what I'm putting down, if you cannot bag what I'm on, if you cannot swallow that mighty hard nasty pill to swallow, you most certainly will, or you will unfortunately succumb to the unfortunate tomb of consumerism. Corporate consumerism, totally indoctrinated. Unfortunately, at the end of the day, the brass tax has nothing else to say. You know what, it's noise. You want to go pay $75 for Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart? Well, go ahead. I hope you choke on it.